Hi right, guys, so we're going to be doing a little review of this Bucky O'Hare Bruiser figure. And here's the front of the box. We got some nice artwork on the front. Nice artwork on the side. Um, the only two I didn't get was the exclusive or the variants, so I didn't get the uh, Stealth Bucky O'Hare and the uh, Astral Projection Jenny. I do want the Stealth one, but I'm just not spending the money on it. And there was a chocolate version, an Easter Bunny version that I did not get either. Find something to open this guy with. So let's just cut this tape here. I was really hoping we get a blinky, but it doesn't look like we're going to get a blinky. I'm guessing this is the last one in the bunch, because I haven't seen any others. But it is Comic-Con weekend, so who knows what will show up this weekend. I did see what we're going to get some Earth Swarm Gym figures and some Battletoads figures. So, yeah, comic book looking little background inside, behind... All right, so it looks like we've got two different levels here. Oh, three. Three little clam shells. And more tape. Of course. And there goes my background. Not much of a background. Close enough. Alright. So, first of all, let's look at the accessories that it comes with. So, we got an extra face. No articulating jaw or anything. These things really could benefit from a wash. Especially bringing all that detail in the hands. So you got a fisted hand. <coughs> so much work to get out of a banana that I'm never going to use. Come on. All right, background, stay up. All right, now we got a banana. And we got a gun. Again, no articulation, no extra paint. And then we got a hand, pretty clean. A little grippy hand. They did a good job on that. Silver paint, we're not seeing a whole lot of, eh, a little bit of over. Right there, but very minimal. Looks pretty good. All right, now we got a figure here. You really need to clean off that little spinner, but here's a kind of a 360 view of him. Let's pull this back out here. So, there's the face. back
All right. Let's bring this down here a little bit. All right, so let's look at the articulation here. So the head really doesn't have any. It swivels all the way around. And the arms, pull 360. And another articulation point here. So we can get spread all the way up to there. And then we got an elbow. Come all the way up there and all the way there, and then we got a swivel on the hand, and that's it on the arms. So, looks like we got a, an ab crunch. So, he can move about that far. So, he can be hunkered down or looking almost straight up. Um, then at the waist, you got two different, you got a rotation point there. And then at the thigh, bring the leg back and forward. So back there, that far up. Same articulation over here. So let's see, can we make him stand a bit taller? So the knee doesn't have a whole lot of articulation, so we can move out that far, back that far, and you got a ball joint at the ankle, so you get some ankle tilt, and then it'll pivot forward and backwards about that far. So if we get him to stand up. Still got a hunker him over. So if you have him standing up, he'll stand up about that tall. Put the arms back so he looks like he doesn't fall over. So let's zoom out here. So that's about as tall as he's gonna stand. So let's grab some of the other figures. All right, so here he is with some of the newer and some of the vintage. So let's go through them here. So um, let's move some of these out of the way here. So let's look at the vintage first. So here he is with the, his older self. And let's compare the gun here. So pretty good, pretty close. Um. Wonder if he will hold his gun. Let's see. So he will hold his gun in that hand. And this is his, I'm guessing, banana holding hand. Um, sorry, I got sidetracked. Oh, let's see something here. On the old toy. You can do this, so let's see. So yeah, you can kind of hang his gun off of here. Works better with the probably the Bucky O'Hare pistols, I imagine. But I'm not going to take those out because he just risks damaging them. But... Now, was that what it was designed for? I don't know, but it will fit under his belt there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this gun back in here. I don't know why I put the box away. So, so he will stand over like that. So here he is with Bucky O'Hare. Kind of see how he stacks up against the vintage ones. 
and then there he is with Jenny and Dead Eye Duck. And Bucky O'Hare. And then put the Battle Trooper behind here. I love that Battle Trooper figure. I'd like to have six more of them, but they're kind of pricey, so. I may end up ordering a second one. They're just too cool not to have a second one. Uh, mine, this one didn't, his hat didn't fit on him. Um. I was really hoping we were going to get some vehicles with this line. Like, at least a Toad Croker would have been cool. Uh, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Um, let's see. So, I think they look really good together. Uh, Jenny's arm did break off on me, so I had to super glue it. Um, so I'd highly recommend if you get a uh, Jenny figure that you do not move the arms at all because I barely, barely moved it. I even heated it up first, so it was a little bit softer. Um, did everything you're supposed to do to, whenever you're moving these fragile figures, and it's still just, I mean, just like, I could, it would have been harder to tear a piece of paper. I've had toilet paper that was tougher than her arm. Uh, so, be careful. Um, kind of seems like his gun is missing something here. Like right there in the front? Is it supposed to have something in there? Where's the box? I was box. Where do I put the box? Nope. Guess not. Alright. Well, that's going to be the end of it, and uh, hope I will see you guys back here the next time. Oh, 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 everything's falling. Oh, God. Come on, guys. I don't like toys that are super, super, like, fall apart -y. Like a wet fart can knock him over. Alright, that's better. Alright, well I will see you guys later. Bye.